Yuji, you got to tell us more about this guy whose internet handle CIS. Who is he? What do you do? Hi, Angie. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a really funny story that we came across. Basically, CIS, it's pronounced CIS. He is a Japanese day trader. He's a 36-year-old guy who basically trades out of his bedroom. Um, but over the last 15 years, he's been so good that he's amassed $150 million. Uh, actually, right now, probably closer to $180 million. Um, my colleague, Jason Klenfield, for this story, he did an awesome profile about CIS last year. And uh, viewers can get on our website and take a look at that. It has a lot more detail. Uh, but yeah, he's just, you know, he's a guy, 36-year-old Japanese guy. Uh, when he came to the interview for us, uh, it was my first time meeting him, but you wouldn't be able to tell that this guy has $180 million. And, you know, he sat down with us about an hour after the trade uh, finished, after he closed all of his positions. And we went to a coffee shop, and he explained everything that he did. Um, I had been following everything that he'd been doing for months uh, through his Twitter account, but he showed us statements, he showed us documents that verified it, and he kind of walked us through his logic of this trade while everyone else was getting creamed, you know, in the global markets down uh, up to, you know, 15% in some places. This guy made $34 million, he claims, uh, basically in one wild night. And you met him an hour after he closed all his positions, tallied things up to $34 million. How was he not jumping out of his skin? I mean, what made his trade so special here? Everybody's talking about falling a catching, uh, trying to catch a falling knife, and he, not, he, he hit the target. How do you do it? He's, he certainly did. Uh, he nailed it perfectly. So let me just walk you through the trade. Um, the day after China devalued the yuan, he started selling Nikkei futures. But he didn't really do it because of the economic implications of a weaker currency and all that stuff. He says he doesn't look at financial news at all. He doesn't care what happens in China. He says he was simply looking at the how stocks were trading. And to him, it seemed like there were many more sellers and buyers. That's how he says he trades. He doesn't look at charts or financial news. He just feels it through the price action and through the volume and stuff like that. Um, so he started selling Nikkei futures on August 12th. He kept adding to that position. And, you know, market slumped on Monday by a lot. Uh, Nikkei was down something like 5%. He didn't close his position out. He just kept on shorting. And then when U.S. markets opened, um, at the very, very bottom, he closed his position. And then he reversed it and he brought it back up. Uh, it was a really great trade.